my channel. My name is Tori and I am currently 35 weeks pregnant. I have been working on my diaper bag for I would say a majority <laughs> of my pregnancy. Um, I started really early but I got things a little out of time. I wanted to pretty much have a very easy end of my pregnancy so now I'm 35 weeks and I got the rest of my stuff this past week so unless I'm forgetting something so if I'm forgetting something please let me know in the comments um, I feel like I definitely am an overpacker but I'm trying not to be so everything goes as planned everything that I'm packing is something that I will most likely use I probably overpacked for baby boy <laughs> It's a first time mom type of thing. So we're just gonna jump right in. Um, again, if you have any suggestions in the comments, leave them for me. I know everybody's different. So something that I pack might not work for you. Something that you packed might not work for me. But yeah, so let's get right into it. First things first, let's talk about the bags that I have. I'm using the rolling suitcase. It's the carry on from Bays. I think that's how you say it. I love their stuff, so I've had their stuff before that I use like when I travel, so I knew that I would want to actually have this like in the future for when we're traveling because my husband's family lives in Houston and we live in West Texas right now, so we're going to want to take baby boy to see that side of the family a lot, so I wanted something simple and easy to pack. And then I just got their tote bag to go with it just because I kind of have like all of the, right when I get to the hospital and I'm in like labor, I might want stuff and I, it needs to be easily accessible for my husband so it's mainly in this bag. Everything in here is kind of postpartum besides my labor and delivery gown. I'm trying to keep it as simple and easy as possible. And my diaper bag is itsy ritzy. I got this for myself for my birthday and I'm obsessed. I'm now an ambassador for them so I actually have a code for them. I have all of the accessories that I wanted. Sorry my kitten's in the room because she was crying outside of the door when I started the video so I had to let her in. But everything in this bag is for baby boy. I'm trying to keep it like and this bag is stuff for baby MJ and this bag is stuff for me and this bag is stuff for like when I'm in labor and then obviously I'll help my husband pack his bag. Sorry in advance because I'm still overcoming the flu. Zero out of ten recommend getting the flu at 34 weeks pregnant. So I'm gonna get the big things out of the way because they're just like in my space and I want them gone and then we'll dive into the bags. So I am gonna bring my own pillow. I debated on this. I really thought about it and I decided to go for it because I would rather have it and not need it than want it and not have it. So that's kind of how some of this stuff is. But I will say that I really did think that I will probably use this. Um, it's just a pillow I already have at home. I don't want to be as comfortable as possible in the hospital. I have very bad anxiety when it comes to doctors and hospital stuff. So yeah, I'm very nervous and I want to be as in my zone and comfortable as possible. So with this blanket, I ordered it on Amazon. And I'll try to link as much as I can in the description below. I want to say I got the queen size version and then I got my husband the black and white queen size version and his is like smaller than mine and less puffy and takes up less room. So I'm not sure what happened because it's like the same blanket but a different color. I'm still gonna bring it. It's like massive but I feel like I will want this after. Um, so postpartum. I don't know that I'll use this in labor because I don't want it to get ruined and it's so cozy and I am planning on getting induced at 39 weeks if everything is going as planned and we're just like roll into the hospital chilling then definitely I want to have this but if there's like a situation where I have to rush then and I don't get this like I will be fine probably I will probably be fine <laughs> oh and then my breastfeeding pillow so I got the snuggle me breastfeeding pillow actually my friend got this for me off our registry. I originally got the pink one but then I got two covers because I wanted to go like with the neutral vibes. I really think that this pillow is going to work well for me. Again I'm a first time mom so we'll see how it goes. We will we will really see how all of this goes <laughs> but I have high hopes so I'm going to bring it to the hospital because I do want to meet with a lactation specialist and I want them to give me tips and tricks and I want to have it for postpartum when I'm trying to start my breastfeeding journey and everything. I'm going to dive into my actual suitcase first and then I'll show you all what's in the tote and then I'll show you baby boy stuff um, and then yeah. I was about to lay the suitcase down to open it um, and I wanted to point out that I did get this specific version of this suitcase because it has like a little pocket on the front that you can undo and I'll put all my hospital paperwork. I don't know if you can see it. I have their regular pink one that doesn't have this pocket in the front 
but I figured even just leaving and I'm sure I'll have paperwork and stuff just to be able to throw it in there instead of like fold it and try to find a place for it because most of my stuff's pretty packed in so that's kind of why I went with this one. I had this packed perfectly already. I'm gonna have to fit it right back in here perfectly so bear with me. First thing I got well on top is a belly band. Um, I got a belly band because I don't know how I'm gonna feel postpartum and I want to make sure that I feel very tight and secure no matter what type of delivery I have so I did get this one off Amazon and got the bigger size just because I don't know how big I'm gonna be when I go to actually give birth. I'll probably start using this as soon as possible as soon as my doctor will let me because I want to feel secure tight held in <laughs> I don't know. I am extra and some of this stuff y'all might say like you might roll your eyes and be like oh my gosh she doesn't even need that. She has no idea because she's a first time mom. I did get my own labor and delivery gown. It's the one from Kindred Bravely. I didn't get this one for any other reason other than I knew that I would want. I get hot really easily. It has like a little thing for breastfeeding. It's super simple but yeah I did get this. I might end up throwing it away after depending how everything goes i guess if you really think about it it's not cool and it's kind of a waste of money but honestly if i can take it home and wash it then i will take it home and wash it and i'll wear it postpartum and you'll see that i have a lot of different things that are just going to make me personally feel more comfortable and more at ease and less anxious regarding specifically like medical stuff because i just I know myself and I'm not gonna like it. I did get a robe. It's the one from Stars Above, Target, the most amazing things in the world. Everybody I feel like knows and if you don't know, now you know. I got um, a robe to wear just in case I do get cold like postpartum or if I'm wearing my labor and delivery gown and I'm not ready yet and I need to like just have something cozy on over it, I will have that. Much the same pattern um but it's a gown so it's a button down gown the material is just very soft so i used them i use this brand a lot when i was recovering from getting my loose skin removed after my extreme weight loss so i know that i like the way it feels and i i will be able to use it like when i come home postpartum and when i'm just dealing with baby so yeah it'll get multiple uses i brought a nursing tank honestly don't know if i'll wear this this is something that i keep going back and forth on because don't know if I'll wear it <laughs> but I'm gonna bring it I'm only bringing one and if I wear it cool if I don't cool it just depends I honestly have no idea because I feel like if I bring this then I need to bring like a cardigan to put over it because I'm not really bringing pants I'm really bringing those gowns so it's kind of like do I need it I don't know y'all tell me in the comments do you have one more Amazon gown just in case I stay a little longer than expected um, it is a nursing gown, so it's just cute, black and white. Um, I tried to get things that are not going to show a lot of the uh, fluids <laughs> that come with delivery. I do like this one. It's cute, and again, I will wear it when I come home. So I brought two gowns, technically, and a robe and a nursing tank. That's like postpartum. And I do have my coming home outfit. I just... I brought a pair of like loose leggings because I do prefer, like I said, to kind of be like held in um, and I don't know how I'm going to feel. So I brought both options. So I brought a pair of just joggers. These are from Buff Bunny, my favorite activewear brand ever in the world. I'm obsessed with them. So I brought these and then I have my Lulu leggings. I'm just bringing these because they're a lot stretchier right now and they just fit me better like being pregnant. So I am going to use one of these not sure which one we'll see how i feel in the moment because i know well i i think i know but i don't really know how things go postpartum i might just be like nope give me my joggers and then i just have this cute little hoodie that i think i got on amazon or etsy i can't remember it just says mama it's super cute i'm due march 23rd probably getting induced march 18th the weather is probably going to be really pretty, not too cold, not too hot. So I'm going to go into kind of like the toiletries that I'm bringing and just kind of like postpartum stuff. Oh, I forgot. I'm bringing a pair of compression socks and then a regular pair of socks to wear. Oh, I forgot to bring my slides. I have not shown y'all any shoes. I am bringing a pair of slides. They're what I plan to wear to the hospital and what I want to wear coming home from the hospital. So I'm not going to pack them. I do like to wear socks with slides. I'm weird like that. And so I'm bringing a pair of socks for those. And then um, two pairs of the grippy socks. I'm clumsy 
and I'd rather not fall. So obviously I'm bringing piercing bras and other things that go underneath. So just know that I will have that stuff as well. I am bringing a peri bottle. This is something that everybody recommended to get um, because the one at the hospital apparently isn't that great. So I'm gonna bring mine and then I'll just take it home. I feel like that's a necessity at the hospital. Bring in the postpartum essentials here, leaving the hospital. Just feel like these will be more comfortable for me. I know myself and I don't know if I'm gonna like what the hospital gives. So I'm bringing these just in case. I did say all my baby boy stuff is in his diaper bag, but this didn't fit. So this is his baby book. I'm bringing it because I want to put his footprints in here. And just in case there's something I wanna write, I feel like I wanna put something down like immediately that I'm gonna have this on hand ready to go. This came in one of my little bump to mom boxes. It wasn't the bump, maybe it was bump box. I can't remember which one it was, but I was thinking like everybody's told me bring a bag and ask them to refill everything for you before you leave and just like take it all right i was like okay well i need to get a cute little tote for that no i don't because they sent me one so it literally says mom stuff and it's just like a regular little like bag that you can fold up I'm bringing this and this will put all of our uh extra stuff in everyone says it's free it's not free like you're paying for it somewhere so and i'm gonna take it home um, because i'm gonna use as much as i can of the hospital stuff this is my toiletry bag. I did buy like packing cubes for my suitcase. I ended up taking this stuff out of the packing cubes because I just liked the way that it fit better being in like the big pocket of the suitcase, especially if I need to ask my husband to grab me something or if I want to change easily. I'm going to show you what is in here. Um, in this little pocket at the top, I just have makeup wipes. Just bring in these. I normally use the Pacifica brand, but I'm honestly just trying to go for convenience at the hospital. Sometimes I just like to like wipe my face with a makeup wipe because it makes me feel fresh. Maybe I'm just like sweaty or whatever it is and I want to just kind of like freshen up a little bit. Then I have five, which I think is honestly too many, but I'm still gonna bring five. I'm bringing the thing to put my retainer in, a little spray. And I have body wash. I did buy a new brush. I'm telling you some of the things that I did, they're extra, but it's okay y'all because it's my first baby, so I get a pass, right? I brought a couple of scrunchies and a little claw clip, a mouthwash. This is my husband and I's toothpaste and toothbrushes. So I put toothpaste for me, a toothpaste for him, and then we both have our own toothbrush. I did put lotion in here. I don't know that in the moment I'm gonna be like, oh, pass me the lotion. I feel really dry, but I know hospitals are very dry, so we'll see if that, <laughs> If I actually want lotion. Lip balm. I use the Aquaphor Lip Repair. It's my favorite. My husband and I love this one. Dry shampoo. Obviously. If I don't feel like washing my hair. Deodorant. A little mini deodorant. It's so cute. It's just the Monday brand. Like little travel size shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if I'm going to want to take a shower. Even if I want to take a shower, I might not want to wash my hair. But I'd rather have it and not need it than be like, dang, I wish I could wash my hair. That's everything in this little toiletries bag. What's cool about this is I can just hang it up. And it's not like super long and super obnoxious. So I can just kind of like hang this wherever I need to and then just grab things as needed. I have this little bag called Stuff. This is either labor and delivery or it's postpartum stuff. So I will show y'all what's in here. I got this after ease. Um, a lot of people recommended this. I've seen a lot of videos on it. Apparently it helps when you're having the postpartum contractions of your uterus going back down to size. So you just spray it in your water. I got this for breastfeeding. The Earth Mama brand. I have a couple of other brands as well around the apartment. I did get the Silverettes. <laughs> They're expensive, but I got them because everybody says they're a lifesaver, especially if you're a first time mom and you're trying to breastfeed. Apparently these really help. So I'm not going to bring a diffuser. I just got two essential oils and I'm just going to like put them on a cloth or something. I got lavender and then I got peppermint. So depending on how I feel, pretty much like I saw someone recommend instead of bringing a whole diffuser to take these and like dab them on like a cotton ball and just like put it on your chest because then if you like don't want the smell anymore you can just kind of like wipe it off and be done but the diffuser if you don't like the way it smells or you're like i don't know th weird things happen in labor and you don't want it anymore um you're gonna have to wait for 
the smell to kind of like dissipate from the room after you turn the diffuser off so i actually just went ahead and put my peri bottle in here too it was actually just kind of out so that's pretty much everything in my suitcase besides my makeup and i'm not gonna bore y'all by going through my makeup i have a cute little makeup case again <laughs> i'm extra so i did buy like an extra pretty much everything like the cheap elf stuff it's nothing crazy just because in the moment i don't want to be like oh i need to go pack my makeup just in case i want to put makeup on while i'm at the hospital instead i just went ahead and like packed an extra stack of pretty much everything i mean we'll see if i want to do it if i don't then i don't and i'll use it when i come home i mean i'm gonna get use out of it but just think of it as i bought it early <laughs> Okay, so in the tote bag, let me show you this again. I love that it is neutral. It goes right on top of my suitcase handle. And then it holds a lot, honestly. It really does hold quite a bit of stuff. So this one is kind of like a bunch of little random things. I just wanted some of this stuff that's like electronic or things that I need to make sure are charged. I wanted them separate and just in here. So I am bringing a little mirror. It's like a little compact mirror. I'm bringing this because if I want to do my makeup, I don't want to have to get up. That sounds so lazy saying it out loud. I got a little speaker. I got this from Target. It was like $20, I think. Just in case I want to play some music out loud. I also, my husband got me some new AirPods for Valentine's Day. So I'll either kind of pop them in my ears if I'm trying to like escape reality or I can just have this playing out loud to have like a good like vibe. And I do have like a labor and delivery playlist as well. Everybody recommended to get long chargers, so I got one for my husband and myself. I think they're 10 feet. I don't remember. Bringing the portable sound machine, the, I think this is the Dream Egg. Yeah, someone got it off of our registry for us. I am going to bring this for when my baby boy is here. I'm also already trying to get used to sleeping with the sound machine on. We like the ocean sound and like the thunderstorm. I'm trying to get used to it, so everything's not new when baby boy's here. Just a, a few things. Just, you know, taking care of a newborn baby. No big deal, right? I'm bringing this fan. A lot of people recommended this fan specifically because it wraps around wherever you need it. Another thing that I'm going to have to make sure is like fully charged. So I have a lot of things that I need to make sure are charged maybe within the next couple of weeks. I am bringing these little birthing affirmations cards and I'm bringing a comb. It says I can do hard things and it says I am calm, strong, and brave. I got this on Amazon. I just felt like this was worth it. Apparently it's a good pain management system. All these cards have like different birthing affirmations and I'm all about that stuff. So I wanted to make sure I had things that I can read to really refresh my brain. I've also taken a lot of screenshots of like my favorite Bible verses that have to do with like not being anxious, trusting in God, just making sure like I can keep my mind on what matters the most and not let the enemy scare me and just be able to be strong and bring baby boy into the world in the best mindset as possible. So got my little snack bag, got the bag on Amazon. You're going to hear me say that all the time, but fruit snacks, the little nature's bakery, I have crackers and I have a couple of the liquid IVs. This is stuff for my husband and me. I also have this little swaddle blanket. It's actually not little at all. It can function as a piece of wall art, which I will use, but it says, God knew my heart needed you. And I'm so excited to be able to take a picture with this at the hospital just for a memory um, with him. I have two baby blankets. One is just like that little simple like fray baby blanket. And then I have a checkered one that kind of matches mine or mine matches his. This is from Caden Lane. Yeah, it's Caden Lane's. So announcement photos, going home, putting the blanket over him in the a car seat, like it just kind of depends, but I am gonna bring two different options. So before I get into baby boy's bag, I did wanna mention that I'm bringing a water bottle. This one has a lot of like, positive stickers on it, Bible verses, things like that. So I am going to end up bringing this one. I like that the straw folds down um, because I don't know, for some reason it grosses me out having a straw like out in the hospital air. So I like that I can, I can fold this one down. Best bag of all, all the cute baby stuff. Some stuff that I will show y'all, some stuff I can't because it's a secret until he's here. I'm going to go ahead and go through what's like in the front pocket first. I have a little pouch. So some of this stuff I'm going to be keeping in the diaper bag for when like I'm using it as an actual diaper bag. But most of that stuff I don't have in here yet because I simply don't have room. And this backpack is huge. So that's ridiculous because this is probably the bag that I really did overpack. So I just have like 
the little eye wipes. I have an Aquaphor baby thing in here. I have baby lotion. I probably won't even use this stuff at the hospital, but I'm just going to keep it in here. I also have the pacifier wipes and the brought hand sanitizer. The Drift um, little pin. These are really hard to find. I don't know if y'all have seen that. So if y'all know an easy place to get those, let me know. That's everything that's in like this front little pocket. Front little pocket right here. And then everything in this pocket is like his like announcement photo stuff or like his uh, footprint things i got this in a bump box or a bump to mom box it's so cute because it says you are my sunshine so i'm bringing this one to the hospital because i bought a pack of just like the regular inkless ones i just love that that it says that it'll be a sweeter memory i also have a hello world sign i just kept it in the wrapper so it says hello world and then it says name date and time, weight and length. So this is just for us to have um, as a keepsake for him. And then I ordered his nameplate off of Etsy. I liked this one because it's just a little different. Let me not show you his name. Um, but it says, hello, my name is, and then his name is in black. So it uh, looks like a cute little like name tag. Uh, oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna get emotional. Gotta stop. I did use packing cubes for him can show y'all how I have it packed in here before I take it out. So I have like three packing cubes because I'm extra. I'm not going to show y'all this outfit. This is specifically his like announcement photo outfit and we probably won't even like post an announcement photo on social media but I want to have it for my own memories and our memories as a family so I still did get like a cute little outfit because I want to have that memory so I'm not going to show y'all the outfit but it's super cute. Now everything in here is little outfits that he can wear like in the hospital. Now this is what is probably overkill, but you know, it's all good. I have a couple of beanies because they match two of his outfits. I brought two little mittens. So I brought, <laughs> it just feels ridiculous saying this. I brought four little zipper sleepers and then I brought three onesies. I know that's way too many guys. I know that's way too many, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to bring them. So this one is one that matches um, the little beanie. Cute. Um, this is from Spearmint Baby. This one is also from Spearmint Baby and it also has the matching. Sorry, they've been folded forever because I have been washing and folding stuff as I get it. So then I have this one that matches. Those are like my first choice things that I'll have him wear in the hospital most likely. And then I do have two newborn, the Little Sleepies brand, which is my favorite brand so far. But I have this color and I have like a natural color. Two little pairs of socks. So I have like this one, um, it's just like neutral striped. And then I have this one, it's like white with like little tan and green clouds and stuff and stars. And then I have one long sleeve, just regular white onesies yeah that's all i have in that packing cube a couple more things and then i'm done i promise there's one more packing cube in here uh, this little swaddles i am bringing a halo sleep sack swaddle i have two that i really want to use and try the other one is the love to dream i don't know because i know that some babies love being swaddled and some babies don't like certain swaddles so i only got one newborn size of these because I want to make sure that he likes them before I spend more money and get more of them. And I'm going to bring them to the hospital just so they can give me tips and tricks and help me because I know myself and I just don't feel like I'm going to be the mom that uses actual swaddle blankets. <laughs> I don't feel like I have the patience for that, but hey, I might. Something in here that I'll show you the rattle. It's more of like a keepsake. This is from Modern Babies and then I did get the matching teddy bear for him to have like for his announcement photo and I want him to have a lot of keepsakes. I'm not gonna show you all this swaddle. It has his name on it and that's a secret. But this swaddle is super cute. It is from Little Sleepies, of course. It comes with a little hat too. This one was from Amazon. It's like a checkered swaddle with a little hat. So, I mean, he might wear it, he might not. I might just use it as a breastfeeding cover, but we shall see. I have this little container, like this little pouch of pacifiers. I tried to bring like one of each brand that I got because I don't know what he'll like. So I got the, is it Nuck or Nuke? Nuck? I don't know how you say it. I got Ma'am 
and then I have um, a bibs and I have an itsy ritzy one as well the bibs and the itsy ritzy ones look identical so I'm not sure exactly the difference I'm gonna bring them hopefully he takes it but then again we need to see which brand he likes because it really just depends on your baby I've had a lot of people recommend certain things that it's like they swear by a certain brand but then another person swears by a different brand and then another person swears by a different brand so I know that it's all relative to your baby and what your baby likes that's just the reality of that so that's everything in his bag that wasn't too bad besides the seven outfits that he's definitely not gonna wear in the hospital but at least we have options so I do have like a little list on my phone anything that I didn't show y'all that I plan on bringing is body armor. I want to bring body armor to the hospital. Oh, my Polaroid camera. Um, I'm going to bring that. I just will probably pop it in my tote bag. And then the camera that I'm recording on right now, I'll bring that and just my ID, my birth plan, my insurance information, and all the hospital paperwork that I need. So all of that will go like in that front pocket like I was showing y'all. If there's anything that you think that I forgot or you're like, girl, you really don't need that please put it in the comments and let me know because I am open to all suggestions considering I am brand new to this <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I've done a lot of research, but again, research can only take you so far. It's going to be way different when he's actually here. So thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and give me a subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. I'm new into YouTube, so your support really means a lot.